We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Brother HLL8360 printer and we're going to show you some common causes of paper jams. Specifically paper jams that are caused because of problems inside of the paper tray. So we're going to go ahead and remove our paper tray. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the paper that's in it out so we can get a better look at the bottom of the paper tray. Now if you look at the bottom of the paper tray, you notice there's all these different markings both vertically and horizontally inside of it. And those are so that you can use these little adjusters and you can set this paper tray for whichever size paper you're specifically using inside this paper tray. In our case, we're using a standard 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. So we want all of our indicators to be directly on 8.5 by 11 or letter uh, settings. So the reason that's important is if any of these are set to a larger size piece of paper or a smaller size piece of paper, it can either allow the paper to be too tight or too loose inside of this paper tray and the printer has a hard time pulling it through. Or you can tell the printer that there's either a larger or smaller piece of paper than there really is inside of the paper tray. And so it's looking for a different size piece of paper as it's pulling it through and it can think there's a jam. So it's very important that all these indicators are set right on the setting for whichever size piece of paper you're using in this paper tray. So another problem we see quite frequently is from adding paper into the paper tray. So say you have just a little bit of paper down at the bottom of the tray and you go to add a stack and you set it down and as you push it up it actually slides some of the paper to the back of the tray and kind of curls up in the back. And what will happen is it'll actually squeeze the paper inside of there and create the paper to be way too tight inside of the paper tray and it won't pull through the printer properly. So it's always important to make sure you have a nice clean stack of paper whenever you're putting it into the printer. And then after you set it into the paper tray, just take a quick visual inspection, make sure you have a nice clean stack, all four sides, and that there's not any paper curled up anywhere. If you see any curled up anywhere, just pull it out real quick and it'll help tremendously as far as reducing any kind of paper jams that you're having. Another common problem we see is from adding paper into the paper tray, adding too much paper into the paper tray. Obviously nobody wants to have to stop in the middle of a print job and add more paper into the printer. So you try to fit as much paper into the paper tray as possible. But if you look at the two sides in the very back, there's little flags that stick out. Those are your maximum fill lines. So if you actually go above those, then you're adding way too much paper. And when that, ha when that happens, you're actually creating too much pressure up against the paper pickup assembly and the printer just can't pull the paper through properly. So if you're noticing that you're jamming for the first 20-30 pages and then it gets better as it gets a little bit lower, there's a good chance you're just filling the paper tray just a little bit too high. Generally I recommend leaving just a small gap underneath those little maximum fill lines and it'll make a big difference as far as reducing the amount of paper jams that you have. So if none of those are helping you and you're still getting consistent paper jams and you've had this printer for a while, you use it pretty heavily, there's a good chance that your rollers are worn out and need to be replaced. It's a normal maintenance problem. Just like having to replace tires on your car, the rubber rollers, they get worn out and they need to be replaced. So if you've had the printer print for a while and you've never had it maintenance or you use it really heavily, it's probably a good chance that the rollers need to be replaced. And if that's the case, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with that. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help answer those for you as well. And if there's anything we can do as far as helping providing any kind of office supplies or printer supplies, we'd love to help provide this for you. Other than that, we hope you have a great day and you're back up in printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.